Hey, good evening everybody. Suspect Sky here. This is just a quick update regarding a very exciting article released by Eureka Alert uh, two days ago on April 2nd, 2018, where they discovered as part of a, a large survey conducted of the nighttime sky in the search for supernovas, found 72 mysterious explosions in space don't uh, mimic a supernova profile. So you can see here, here's one of the uh, images from that survey, and you can see over the course of uh, about two weeks or so, two to three weeks, uh, you can see that uh, minus eight days, there's no explosion. Minus four days, there starts to be an explosion. Uh, at zero days, there is the explosion, and then it, it slowly dissipates over the course of about two to three weeks uh, down here. Uh, this was part of a survey looking for an explanation for dark energy. We're not going to get into that, but uh, dark energy has a, uh, a, ton, a ton of problems with it. It's sort of a made-up theory to explain the expansion of the universe. That is essentially unnecessary in an electric model of the universe, but that's for another talk. These 72 mysterious, very quick explosions don't match the uh, supernova profile. So in contrast, a true supernova lingers in the sky for months, whereas these ones uh, lasted from about a week to a month. So they're almost like hyper-accelerated supernovas, and we don't really understand how this could happen uh, with our current understanding of how this phenomenon works. You know, they're, they're continuing to hunt for what they call transients, which are these super-fast supernovas, and they're trying to compare with, you know, how these compare to more routine supernovas. And as they said, you know, th this field of astrophysics, uh, astrophysics and cosmology is riddled with unanswered questions. So I included a number of links here for you to check out. Uh, this is Eureka Alert. This is where the article was first published. You know, it, there's... Uh, this particularly is interesting, and here, here's another universe. Uh, this is from this Mysterious Universe, but this is particularly interesting because we haven't had really a mysterious explosion in space, let alone 72 of them, for quite a while. So this one comes from April 4th, 2017. Oddly enough, it's the same date, just one year later where the Chandra X-ray telescope picked up a, uh, a very odd explosion in the X-ray spectrum that they couldn't explain. It was one of the most powerful uh, explosions they've ever seen. So exactly to the date, a year about, uh, we've detected another mysterious explosion. This time it's 72 of them that don't fit the supernova profile, but they do fit the supernova profile in the sense that they're, they're in the visible spectrum. They appear to be true explosions of a star but that they just happen at a, a greatly accelerated rate than regular supernovas. And I just have to say, these, these odd mini or transient supernovas, as they're calling them, these mysterious explosions, they're, they're occurring. They are about 18,000 to 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They are extremely hot. One of these articles compares that to uh, our sun. And actually here, the, the, the range and size of these explosions is about 100 times AU, astronomical units, which is the distance between Earth to Sun. So these are very large explosions. This one comes from, the, this X-ray uh, explosion came from about 10.7 billion light years away. These ones they're picking up uh, seem to be occurring from around 6 billion light years away. And one interesting connection I made just off the bat is to fast radio bursts. So if you've been following us for a while, you know that fast radio bursts occur typically many billion light years away. I think the closest one was three billion light years away, and we've picked up several from around six to seven billion light years away, which is the same distance from the Earth as these uh, odd 72 super fast supernova explosions. So all this strange activity, uh, all these massive explosions of energy seem to be happening very, very far away. If you, if you check this out here, I thought this was interesting. So on March 9th, and this is actually was just fairly recently released on March 19th, but the brightest fast radio burst to date was picked up on March 9th, 2018. And you can see it here called FRB 180309, which stands for March 9,018. That's how they categorize them. It was the it was the most powerful burst to date. Um, so it uh, is actually very interesting. Uh, definitely got to keep an eye on these things. Uh, there's been a total of 33 fast radio bursts from different sources detected to date, and uh, there's been one, according to this article, that repeats, and that one has repeated about 20 times. A very unusual candidate signal. But that is actually not entirely true. There was another fast radio burst that had components of what we call the double pulse. 
Uh, so if you've been watching us for a while, there's been sort of one that's repeated, but not like this, uh, this one from 2012. That one has repeated about 20 times already. Still a mystery. We, we still have no idea what causes them. Uh, and it's very difficult to come up with a model that fits all of parameters for all the FRBs we've seen. Some repeat, uh, some don't. Uh, some spin magnetically, some don't. Others have very strong magnetic properties, others don't. So it's a very strange phenomenon. But I just found it so interesting that both FRBs and these mysterious explosions in space uh, seem to be happening from uh, a similar distance away from Earth. If you remember, this has to be, uh, this implicitly means that these activities are happening around six billion years ago. We are just now picking up the energy uh, due to the speed of light uh, six billion years later. It kind of makes you wonder whenever you put uh, these things in the context of super civilizations, very ancient civilizations created or evolved, uh, you know, many, many, many billions of years ago, what kind of activities they were doing. You know, these 72 bright and fast explosions that don't fit our uh, supernova model, speculation abounds, you know, what, what could this present? Is it a type of technology like uh, stellar engineering like we've seen in our Kardashev scale discussions resulting in these kinds of mini supernovas uh, all around? So we're going to keep an eye on this, but at the very least, uh, it is a very strange new type of uh, uh, stellar phenomena uh, that we don't understand and has uh, cataclysmic consequences. So just saw this one, just wanted to spit out a quick video here, and uh, thank you to the audience for watching. We'll see you next time.